guys welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be filming a little uh, day in the life of hospital um as some of you may know but i haven't put it on the channel yet i have a condition called cystic fibrosis um it's quite a lot to explain so the best probably the best way is if you watch five feet apart and that has everything because that's literally about cystic fibrosis ignore the way i'm looking I'm in hospital but I'm just going to show you like all of my medications what it's like having see up really and all what I go through when I'm in hospital so at the moment I am currently on IV antibiotics through this which is a portica I've had a blood test already this morning I did get little clips of that which I will insert probably before this and now another needle I've got to take my insulin so I'm just going to show you how I go about that really so this is called I can't really see it it's called Levermere oh, you can't see it it's called Levermere it's a type of insulin I take 9 units of it every morning so I'm going to screw the needle on there take it off and then there's a little dial here you just wind it up to the number you need so as you can see I have nine and then I've kept my shorts on just for this so I can show you how to do it go here literally put it in and then you Hold this button at the top down. Why is that part done? Um, so I'll get back to you when it's time to take my nebulizer. Hey guys, so now I'm gonna be taking my nebulizer. It's called Dornay's Alpha. Um, usually I have a machine that I'll take it through when I'm at home, but while I'm in hospital, I just take it through the air that's here. So, first of all, I have this that I take it through. You have to change the tube and the nebulizer every single time you use it with this one whereas my one at home i just wash it after every single use and then i boil it once a week to sterilize it this is what it looks like before and here you just squeeze it in the top back. You put the mouthpiece on the top and then you turn the oxygen on to seven. So now that this is done, I'm going to be doing my physio. It's been about 20 minutes since I finished my nebulizer, so that's gave it some time to work. The physio I do is called AD, and it just helps me like clear all the mucus that's on my chest. Um, it's like different levels of breathing that I do, and then I do a big huff at the end and clear all the mucus. But um, I just want to go through a few things quickly. First of all, um, usually I do home IVs, but my lung function was quite low compared to what it usually is, so they said they'd prefer me to come in hospital at the moment for a little while. Um, I've been in for a week and I will be going home tomorrow to carry on the other week of IVs from home. Uh, if you just want to see a video on that, then I can always do a video of 
my whole routine at home because it is a lot different to when I'm in, like there's more to do. Um, for example, when I'm on the IVs, uh, on one of the medication called Tobramycin, then I'm not doing that through nebulizer, which I usually would be. And just exercising and stuff like that. There's, yeah, just a lot more stuff. I uh, took my tablets this morning, I forgot to record it, but I will record my evening tablets. Yeah, the reason we haven't uploaded in a while is just because I've been so unwell that we just literally haven't been able to do it because I've been coughing the whole time and everything, but let's get into the physio. So, so first of all I do like a long breath out and then I do like six shallow, like really short breaths and breathe straight out and then I do medium level and then I do the like deep breaths and just breathe out six times each time um, and overall I usually do each lot about four to six times depending how much I'm clearing and stuff like that so I won't re obviously record the whole six but I'll record probably half or a whole lot right I'm gonna carry on do the rest off camera. I will get back to you when, so I usually have quite a few lots of IVs through the portal cuff during the day, but I don't know whether to record that or not. You might see some, but probably not all of it. If not, then I'll get back to you when I'm either on the exercise bike or during like my night medication maybe. Now I'm on the exercise bike. <laughs> now I've got my bowl of sweet corn here. And I ordered fish fingers and chips. I do, usually don't eat hospital food. It's disgusting. But I ordered fish fingers and chips. Um, probably won't eat at all, but usually I don't, yeah, like I said, I don't eat hospital food, but I thought I'd give it a go. Um, but yeah, anyway, so every time I eat, I have to take these tablets called Creon, so I just thought I'd quickly take them on camera. So for the food I've got, I'd take six. Quickly, I'm doing my second, the third insulin today. This is the Nova Rapid. I take it every time I eat. I take one unit per 25 carbohydrates of what I eat. So I've got my dinner here right now. And I've done three units of insulin. Um, I'll get back to you when I'm doing the rest of my night medication. Also quickly, again, I'm gonna be taking my Creon. These are enzymes, they help to break down all the food. I'm gonna be taking eight, just because I do have a kebab, so it's quite a fatty food. So, one, two, three. I have eight here. my bag of tablets here. I'm just going to be going through my nighttime. Oh, my eye keeps twitching. 
I'm just going to be going through my nighttime tablets. So this is Ursia Dexaholic Acid, a mouthful. I have two of these in the morning and two in the evening. And then, currently calciferol, also known as vitamin D. I have this every night. Then I have, I don't know how to say this, but it's vitamin K. I have one of these every night time as well. It's so hard to get out. Azithromycin. I have one of these every night. Most of my tablets are in the night. But I do take some in the morning as well. Add to cal. This is like calcium carbonate, vitamin D. I have four of these. They're quite big. And then I have amitriptyline. Ferrous fumarate is the iron tablet. Vitamin E. I have a Meprazole that I take in the morning and the evening, but it has to be two hours after the rest of my tablets, otherwise it stops them working as well or something like that. And then I have um, two Creon when I have my tablets as well, just to help me digest them a bit better. And that is it. Yeah, that is it for my night tablets. I will do my um, Dornay's Alpha again in a moment, and then more physio, and then the rest of my IVs tonight. I also actually forgot to add in my Senecot. I have four of these in the evening as well. My lo lovely concoction of night medication. I usually take all my tablets in one just because funnily enough I find it easier to uh, take all of the tablets in one than I do like one at a time. I think it's just because I'm so used to having so many tablets my whole life. Uh, yeah, see you guys when it dries up. It's now currently at 10 p.m. and I'm gonna I'm having my evening antibiotics the one i'm having at the moment is called marapenem and then i have that three times a day and at 10 a.m i have one called tobramycin as well um that's all the antibiotics i have for the day my porta calf at the moment is actually really stiff so they changed it yesterday the needle but they have to change it again tomorrow before i go home because of how stiff it is
I'm just going to do my sinus rinse quickly. I have really bad sinuses, so I have to do a sinus rinse just to clear them out. It's horrible waiting. You just pour sinus rinse into sterilised water. Shake it up a little bit. You have to put it up one nostril and literally squeeze and it'll come out the other nostril. Um, you do it halfway and then you do the other one. Once the sinus rinse is done, I have have a mist that I spray up each nostril twice. That just helps with all the stuff in my sinuses. That is it for the end of the video. Um, thank you so much for watching. I didn't include every single thing, like the physio after my nebulizer again, um, the every single IV, um, my sats being taken, and just little bits like that really, just to shorten the video a little bit because already it is quite long and we did have some feedback to shorten the videos a bit. Um, if you want to see another video about me explaining more about cystic fibrosis, my home routine with my medication and everything, I will add some photos after this just to explain a little bit about cystic fibrosis and what it does to your body and the life expectancy and stuff. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and like, comment and subscribe and let us know what else you'd like to see. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.